wrap up at the T minus three minute mark and the T minus two minute mark. But right now we're waiting to hear the final uh, updates to the crew. Falcon 9 propellant tanks are pressurizing for strong bag retract. That's good news for mission Dragon control. Dragon configured for terminal count. There we heard that we are pressurizing Falcon 9 for strong back retraction. The strong back is the tall structure standing right to the left of the rocket right now. And we pressurize Falcon 9 so that we can begin to retract that support structure away from the vehicle ahead of liftoff. Great view there of Dragon sitting strong back retract has started on top of Falcon 9. And we'll look for those clamp arms around the base of Dragon just beneath those solar panels John was just talking about to begin opening up so the strong back can pull away. The strong back is used both to move Falcon 9 out to the launch pad ahead of liftoff and to provide all of the fuel and calm of umbilicals that we're using in the lead up to launch. There are those clamp arms opening up. And then we'll see the strong back pull just about two degrees away from Falcon 9 in the final lead up to launch. Then at liftoff, it'll move to a full 45 degrees away from the rocket. Great live shots there of the capsule on board the, on board the rocket here. Yeah, Ronnie, it takes about 20 seconds for the hydraulics to open up those clamp arms that held onto the second stage. Then about 30 seconds, it's hard to see, but that strong back will move uh, just a couple degrees away. And with that, we are just about 30 seconds away from the expected call out that LOCKS load has been completed on board our first stage. As we mentioned earlier, that mist forming around the outside of Falcon 9 is totally normal. Uh, that's just some of that. Stage one, LOCKS load complete. Some of that liquid oxygen that has now been fully loaded on board to stage one, uh, venting